Hey everyone, my name is Donald and in this video we're going to go ahead and show you how to work with the searching and ordering for your listing types in my listing. So we're going to go ahead and start off by navigating to that section. Under listing tools we're going to go to listing types. From there let's go ahead and navigate to our listing type that we want to make these changes to. For me I'm going to do place. From there we're going to slide all the way to the right hand side with search forms and we have three separate tabs right here. So let's go ahead and get started. The advanced form. This is the form that's going to show up on the explore page. So once you go ahead and incorporate your explore page on your website, you have all of the options on the left hand side column and you can go ahead and add them all here. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and we obviously want to have a general text search box. So let's go ahead and add that real quick. From there we can click on this and we can go ahead and change the light, the label. So what are you looking for? And then we can change the placeholder from enter keywords to search. We can continue along with adding other items. So we could do a drop down. And this is where we're going to go ahead and use the field of any of these. So we can search by tags, region. This is the, what's going to be best for using the drop down. Let's go ahead and hit tags. The label will be tags. And then our placeholder could be um, choose a tag. So we could do something like that. We can hide all of the tags that are empty by using this checkbox. And we can allow people to multi-select if we enable it right here. We can uh, make the order of the tags ascending or descending, so that's however you wish. And we can order it by how many are in each one, by their name, uh, by a specific value, numerical order, or whatever they're included in the order. Let's go with proximity because that's also another great one. We can go ahead and open this up and we can type in, uh, let's do distance. And then depending on where you are, you can do metric or miles. Uh, the minimum and the maximum, I'm sorry, the maximum you can choose is right here. Uh, and then the default, however many miles uh, for the default setting that you want it to automatically do, you can go ahead and add that there. We also have a bunch of other options. So there's different ones that you could choose from. The listing location, they can actually type in a location if they want to. So it's kind of a generic search box, but it looks underneath of the listing location only. Uh, there's a bunch of other ones that you're able to choose from here. A range, there you go. You can, you can actually have this do um, whichever, it'll actually be a slider. So whichever one you want to use for that, you can go ahead for that. So we've got our advanced form here, and then we have over here the basic form. The basic form is the one that you see on the front end of your website right here. This is the basic form. So we have the what are you looking for and the all categories. And if you go ahead and we navigate to the basic form, we see those two fields right here. And it's just like before where we can go ahead and just select this and add this over here on the left hand side. And then we have the label that we can change. So search here. And then we have a placeholder of search. We can do that. And you can see that right now there is no placeholder here. Uh, all categories we have the same here. So we can go ahead and customize that however we want. Let's go ahead and hit update. And from there, I'm going to go ahead and refresh our home page and you'll see those changes made right here. So we have the label of search here, the placeholder of search, which is exactly what we have right here. Search here and search underneath of the listings order. This is where we can go ahead and change how they're um, listed on the explore page. So this is going to be what appears first if they want to choose the ordering options. So we have right now the latest. So whichever listings are the latest published on the website are going to be the ones that show first. Then we have an option to view by top rated, to view them by random, or 
we can go ahead and choose one of these preset ones over here or add a completely new option where we can go ahead and edit however wish however much we want to uh, sort these so we can go to edit clause order by um, we can order by custom field and we select a field so we can do that so we can order by tagline which really doesn't make sense um, but if you have a field that is a number it would be a great way to do this so a number as in like a, a single or do double digit number those would be good you can go ahead and do that or if you want to order it by um, A to Z this is a more complicated way of doing it you could just always click and drag the A to Z right here and you can always put that at the top just like so this is normally what I, mine looks like if I just delete the random and top rated I'll just have my order by this just so that it's a little bit more simple for my clients to be able to use so we've gone through the advanced form and the basic form and the listing order remember the advanced form is for your explore page the basic form is for the home page or this short code widget wherever you have this this is a short code where you can go ahead and enter this on any part of your website it doesn't have to be on the home page only it could be pretty much anywhere you want on the website and then we also have the listings order for the explore page let's go ahead and navigate to our explore page Let's edit this with Elementor. And let's go ahead and choose our template. We're going to go ahead and make this full width, no gap. And I'm going to get rid of this. So right now we have the filters. So what are you looking for? Where to look? We have the tags. And then we also have the um, other options down here. If we get rid of all of the other ones and just have our places one, we have those three that we had right here underneath of the advanced form. So we have the, what are you looking for? The tags and the distance and location. And we have those all right here. What are you looking for? Tags. And we have the location right here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the video if you have not yet done so. And we will see you guys on the next one. Thanks.